If men only want one thing, what is it? What would you do if you had a clone? What can money not buy? Natural boobs. It can't bring my cat back from the dead. No, but you can clone it. Basically the same thing. My belly button fluff. What can we pay for that fluff? The satisfaction that comes from nuclear annihilation. Money. Currency trading exists. KFC bucket full of 9,000 different types of living insects. Me a date. What did you falsely believe as a kid? I watched a lot of Wallace and Gromit and actually thought the moon was made of cheese. That the Bermuda Triangle was way more deadly than it is. My stepdad was in the Navy and had a cruise that went through it. I was legitimately afraid his ship would be sunk in no trace ever found. I used to see the signs around stores that said shoplifters will be prosecuted. I didn't know what shoplifting meant. I figured it was like weightlifting with the entire store building as the weight. I pictured big, burly, bald men that like to go around heavy store buildings overhead grunting in red face. I was afraid someone would try to do it while we were out shopping. I once pointed out some big, muscular guy in a store and whispered to my mother that he must be one of those shoplifters. She shushed me. I thought teachers lived at the school. That the guard in every mall will arrest a loud child. Shadows had to be made of something, right? You could see them. Therefore, they had to be made of stuff. Flawless logic. I vaguely remember picking at the edge of one, trying to peel it off. Now, there was a horrible monster growling all night outside in the dark beyond my room. It was my dad snoring. Bro, did you ever tell your dad this? It all got solved eventually. As I remember it, it took a while before I had the guts to address the monster problem, though. Who's your favorite fictional couple? Me, <laughs> Me and my girlfriend. Frodo and Sam. Fry and Leela. Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man, and Emma Stone's Gwen Stacy. Olive's parents from Easy A. Homer and Marge Simpson. Vegeta and Bulma. What's the best TV series of all time? Our Planet, narrated by David Attenborough. Years ago, you would have seen Game of Thrones far more frequently in this thread. Alas, the ball was dropped hard in its last couple seasons. Not the best TV series of all time. That was literally the question, then why are you still answering? But the first three seasons of Arrested Development are up there with the best three seasons of any of the shows mentioned here. The Sopranos. Fleabag. It's a short two seasons of six episodes each, but it is flawlessly executed with not a single moment wasted. A strange creation for TV where largest is usually the norm. It might be more comparable to a brilliant movie or even a play. It was after all adapted from a one-woman show. It's just art. Malcolm in the Middle. Really loved the prequel to Breaking Bad. Golden Age Simpsons. It's not even close. What can you buy for one dollar in your country? One kilo mango. Ramen. Ramen. Open disappointment in the form of a lottery ticket. What can you buy in your country for one dollar? One pound. A lollipop. Edit. Six lollipops. My work is worth 23 lollipops per hour. That's disheartening. 12 minutes on a parking meter. A can of beans. Maybe. On sale. A load of clean laundry. Correction. A load of clean wet laundry. Reply with your drink of choice and bartender will tell you what it says about you. What is your drink? Vodka cranberry. Urinary tract infection. I don't make the rules. Chocolate milk shaken not stirred. Ah, uh, chocolate milk. The rich man's milk. Sir, can I see your ID? Gin and tonic. My grandmother used to drink gin and tonics when I asked her why. She said, no matter where you go, it's pretty hard for someone to f*** that up. Cheapest beer on tap. A dying breed, possibly a working class hero. Amaretto sour. You probably are the one to hold your friend's hair back when they're picking at the end of their night. I'm gonna assume that says, oh yeah. Edit. Puking. Ball. I swear I'm only a few rounds deep. Double shot of whiskey, neat, and a water, please. This is not your first rodeo. Tequila Sunrise. Why do you love headaches? People who are ugly. What is one of the benefits of being ugly? You feel like a ninja. No one notices you. People leave me alone more. I can walk alone at night in the dark and not worry about getting attacked. I'm female, and I know that no guy is prowling for this You get to see the real side of people. People won't find a need to act to get in your good books so you can see when an is an asshole. Unless you're rich, you can be sure people will love you for who you are. The battery on my phone lasts for a very long period. Ask your mom. What's the hottest accent and why? Scottish. I don't want to comprehend a single word while you are flirting with me. Aussie mate. Yeah, fucking right. Has no one heard of Idris Elba? Lord, the Brits have me locked in. Just came here to see how low German accent is. Was not disappointed. Russians. They always sound serious and angry about literally anything they're talking about. Like, they'll say, please take off your pants. And you gotta listen to them because you're afraid they're gonna slit your throat with a broken Smirnoff vodka bottle and mix your blood with their next bottle. Any accent can made to be hot, so long as the individual has consumed a pepper of some sort. The bell variety has been eliminated for obvious reasons. Irish. Because it's King hot. King hot. Experience you or someone you know has ever had with a telephone or a mobile phone. My husband and I had gone shopping and when we pulled in our driveway, a sheriff was there and we asked if we could help him. He asked if anyone was in there, meaning in the house, and my husband said there better not be. We checked the house and nobody was in there. But while we were looking, the sheriff told us our phone number had called 911 several times and hung up, so he was sent to check it out. Ooh, f me. I do not like this one. Not as spooky as some of these comments, but back in middle school when the movie The Ring had just come out, I was watching it at my best friend's house. We always watched movies in the creepy ass basement 
basement downstairs that gave me the creeps on a normal day. We were sitting in the dark and just saw the scene in the movie where the creepy haunted tape is played and the phone starts to ring in the movie. At the exact same time, her phone rang. If you hadn't seen the movie, the phone rings and on the other end of the line, it's a terrifying girl's voice that says seven days, meaning you have seven days until you die. I made her answer the phone. Her house, her phone. It was her brother's friend. He wasn't in the house and had no idea what we were doing, so it was just a super creepy coincidence. I was ringing my fiance after work once and halfway through the call, the audio randomly switched to someone else's call. Some roofer discussing quotes with a client. They were talking to each other fine. Couldn't hear me. I could only hear the roofer and my fiance only got silence. I had no idea mobile phones could get cross connections. It really freaked me out at the time. My friend called me in a panic once. When I picked up, they asked if I was safe, if I'm by myself, etc. and sounded pretty worked up. I asked what was wrong and they said that someone had called them using my number. But it was an older man saying really strange incomprehensible things about how I was unsafe and that they needed to pay for my safety. Apparently, it was some sort of common scam, but still it shook me up. Like 20 years ago, I was living alone in my first apartment. One morning, I woke up to my alarm going off, and like one second after my cell phone rang, my landline phone rang, and my computer turned itself on all at the exact same time. I just sat there in my bed, fumbling after my phone for a second, and then both phones stopped ringing. Computer stayed on though, and I shut off my alarm. No missed call on my phone. I heard it off like some weird circumstance with a power surge involved or whatever, but the more I think of it, I can't explain it. What is your worst experience on an airplane? An old lady died in the seat next to me. She was shivering with a blanket on, and then she had a hot tea. A few minutes later, she spilled the tea and was no longer shivering. The airline gave me a boatload of air miles for my sharing space with a corpse and convenience. You know, they don't officially consider someone dead until it's declared by a doctor or a paramedic. They didn't tell any other passengers. Not that they needed to, just me and the flight crew knew she was gone. On a flight from Paris to NYC, a kid about three years old kicked the back of my seat the whole time, only stopping for naps. Nicolette was her name. Ah, Nicolette, you are going to get a fist to the throat, you bitch. When I was about 11, my family was flying from Windhoek to Frankfurt, about a 12 hour flight. I was sitting next to my brother, 12, and he was sleeping. I was reading a book or something. All of a sudden, my brother startles awake and projectile vomits all over everything. My clothes, hair, the seat in front of us, our carry-ons that were at our feet, himself, everything. We were about three hours into the flight, so we had nine hours to go. I didn't have a change of clothes in my carry-on, so I had to sit in the soaked vomit- uh, So I had to sit in the vomit-soaked clothes with my vomit-covered luggage for the rest of the flight. My brother definitely had it worse. He had food poisoning and was throwing up in the airplane bathroom for the rest of the trip. They had to take him off the flight in a wheelchair and take him straight to a medical ward where he was given IVs for a couple hours, and we missed our connecting flight. Our poor mom had to pay 2000 for tickets for a new flight. Woman in front of me kept complaining how bad she had to pee, and a few minutes later, it smelled straight up like cat pee throughout the entire plane. She peed in a Coke can and spilled it all over the floor and laughed about it the entire plane ride. Oh yeah, this happened at the beginning of the flight. Why would you not just get up and go pee? That's disgusting. I was sandwiched between two very large people that took half of my seat. They were breathing so loud and kept farting. Men of Reddit, what's the creepiest thing a woman has ever said to you? I went to um, a restaurant with my friend Jordan one time this year, and this random, like, 50-year-old woman came up to me and complimented my eyes, and like, I wasn't looking at her at all. It was just so weird. It was very creepy. She told me she would rather kill me and then herself than see me with someone else. So since you're still alive, how long have y'all been together now? I want to have your ADHD infested children. At a bar, a woman a good 20 years older than me walked up from behind me, ran her hands through my hair and said, I'm a dominatrix. Sorry, I'm more of an Autobot person. A woman I matched with on Tinder told me she likes to kill animals and then asked to meet me in the middle of the woods. I figured that might be a red flag, so unmatched and never went back to Tinder. Swiped left so hard, Tinder uninstalled. I'm like really submissive. Like, I let a guy sh in my mouth once and I didn't even like him that much. For context, it was our second and last date. I worked at a fast food place years ago. My girlfriend came in for a milkshake and was waiting at the end of the counter with uh, one of our regulars. Doris, the regular, was near 90 years old and had invited me home to have pot roast at her house multiple times. I was being a pain and put about a foot of whipped cream over the top of the lid of my girlfriend's milkshake and brought it to her. Doris looked at her, then looked at me deadpan and said, I wish you'd cream me like that. Doris never ordered desserts. Edit, added a much needed space. You're so cute. I want to break into your room, kill you, and stuff you so that we can be together forever. I started locking the doors religiously afterwards. What's something from the early days of the internet which younger generations may not know about? The need to set a good away message on AIM, since it may be up for over a day before you can get back on. Under construction, banners, images, and GIFs. They were on every page. The page was always under construction. You'd put one there while you were writing the HTML and then take it out when the final version was done. But way too many people never bothered with that step. Visitor counters and guest books, I almost always left a message. Before it was all corporate, so many homemade pages for an interest you could think of. I don't mean MySpace or Tumblr either. Crappy HTML blinking graphics, instrumental music in the background. I met one of my oldest online friends in 1997 through a site he made of our favorite band. We were we were email pen pals before social media was a thing. Waiting for an hour for an image to download line by line. ICQ, AIM, and MSN. Hi, ASL, 35M, MN. You? Or the most popular one, 18F Cali. Lol. Downloading a song from LimeWire and then going to listen to it and then you hear, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. I used to keep a magazine beside the 
computer so I could read something while waiting for a web page to load. Who is your example of you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain? Scott is Minecraft. Hey, 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 hey. Jim Jones. He originally stood up for civil rights when it was really unpopular, was hospitalized and accidentally placed in the black ward. When the doctors found out, they tried to move him, but he refused. Then he became a cult leader and uses power and influence to end the lives of a thousand people. Working in restaurant kitchens, you either burn out young or become the boss that everyone hates. There's exceptions, that's usually the rule. My dad used to annoy me by calling my Pokemon cards Pokemans. Now my kids have them and I do the same thing and it annoys the shit out of them. Edit. Thanks for the Pokemon gold. Bill Cosby was once nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Also, the Emmys gave him a humanitarian award. Also the President Medal of Freedom. I want to see a villain that lived long enough to become the hero because that's far more interesting. Ellen DeGeneres. What was okay 10 years ago, but today is not. My lower back. Coughing. Used to cough to stifle a fart. Now I'd rather shit myself. Now we fart to distract from our coughs. Just here to remind everyone that 10 years ago was 2012. Mail arriving at its destination in three to five days. Naming your daughter Isis. Or naming her Alexa. Or Karen. Not you. Turn off. Thank you. Rooting for Jared from Subway. Harambe. Edit. Holy moly. Thanks for the awards. F***s out. Predators. What's something the internet was crazy about but is now forgotten? AOL chat rooms. ASL. Poking on Facebook. Spinning under construction gifts on our website. The dancing baby gifts. One of the earliest memes I ever saw. Ooga chaka. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Chuck Norris jokes. Neopets. Oh, I love Neopets so much. Neon Cat. Who would make a perfect female president of the United States of America and why? Anybody smart enough to deserve the job isn't stupid enough to take the job. Anyone who wants to be president should never be allowed to be president. The mom from Malcolm in the Middle. That sense of authority, fear, and emotional deception she was capable of would make her a great president not to f*** with. My mom. She whooped this whole country into shape and have everyone in bed by 9.30. Dolly Parton. Everyone likes Dolly. My dog. She's a good girl. Treats for everyone. The, <laughs> the girl reading this. Winky face. Lisa Simpson. What's one thing you'll never do no matter what? Climb Everest. I'm almost finished with Into Thin Air. All I could think about as I read about the descent was nope, not doing that. And why would anyone do that? Spelunking. F*** that. I have pretty bad claustrophobia and doing that would make me combust. Cave diving. Just how strong of a death wish can someone actually have? People die constantly doing it on dry land and you're gonna add scuba gear to the mo and water to the mix? Absolutely f***ing not. That. But you would do anything for love, I assume. Except that, yeah. Bungee jumping. Let me guess. A broken rubber brought you into this world and a broken rubber can take you out? Edit. Spelling. Stop at red lights in GTA. Give you up. Die drowning. That's my worst nightmare. I don't think that's your choice, my dude. Nah, he'll live drowning. You are held at gunpoint and your kidnappers will not kill you if you can speak about a topic for 30 minutes straight. What are you talking about? Numbers. I mean, there must be hundreds of them to talk about. One, seven, 83. Edit. Four. Best number is 73. 73 is the 20 first prime number, it's mirror, 37 is the 12th, and it's mirror, 21 is the product of multiplying, hang on to your hats, 7 and 3. But in binary, 73 is a palindrome, 1001001, which is backwards is 1001001. Exactly the same. Broad topic, animals, specific topic, frogs. I like the way you think. Frogs are one of my favorite animals. They are 80% mouth. Snakes are just a bag of throat. I'd give him a very convincing 30 minute lecture on why he should kill me. And the final, most compelling argument in this, it's only been 29 minutes and 58 seconds. My anxiety. Gotta take advantage of this free therapy session. Oh, come on. That's me. That's me. They better be prepared for an hour of nerd ramblings if they don't shoot me first. My fan fiction. They, mi <laughs> they might shoot you right away. A us <laughs> lore. <laughs> In the beginning, there was sauce. What's something that would be 100% better if it was slightly shorter? Unskippable ads on YouTube. Average work hours. Lines at any amusement park. Colds. Kevin Hart. You would have so much more material. Technically, you'd have less material. Saturday Night Live skits. The amount of time I spend every night in existential crisis mode before I finally fall asleep. What's the best response to? I hate you. So anyways, I'm gonna need you to come in on Saturday. Okay, I know. Kiss. I hate me too, but I don't complain about it. I never thought about you at all. You were my brother, Anakin. I loved you. Sounds like a you issue. Which fictional character's death hit you hard? Wow. Well, scrolling through this post is quite risky. Brooks and Tommy in Shawshank Redemption, they're both so tragic. Brooks was here. Sobs. Littlefoot's mom. My first actual confrontation with death as a child. Really screwed with me, or so my mom says. Charlotte in the original version of Charlotte's Web. The dog in I Am Legend. Sirius Black. Cried while reading the book and watching the movie. Dobby from Harry Potter. He didn't even need to die. What a pointless death to such a lovely creature. Bambi's mom. What's the grossest thing you've ever seen at a stranger's house? I used to work for a furniture company doing deliveries and sometimes repos. As a rule of thumb, if you're doing a repo, the house you're about to go in is usually nasty as hell. The one that sticks out in memory was no exception. It was more of a compound of two or three cracked dens, rotten, saggy floors, roof falling in, just fucking nasty. We had to repossess a stove they had bought maybe a month before, and in that short time, it had become caked with grease and infested with roaches. When we got it back to the store, the manager told us to put it out back, as in outside, because he didn't want the store to become infested. A week or two later, a couple 
couple that refurbished old appliances came in and bought it for $20. I went to a friend's house so he could do some work on my car. After we finished, hours later, I really needed to pee, so I asked him if I could use his restroom prior to driving home. He seemed hesitant at first, but finally said yes. I regret ever asking. They were full-on hoarder family. There was barely enough room to walk in the front door to the bathroom. And once in the bathroom, literally just the toilet bowl was visible. I pretended to pee and high-tailed it out of there and peed at the gas station up the street. A thick sheet of mold under the fridge. So thick I thought it was a rug. Someone whose house I was working in told us they don't flush the toilet until it's full. They weren't lying. I walked into a new friend's apartment for the first time and turns out they were like a hardcore hoarder. The stench was just f***ing the worst thing I've ever smelled in my life. And he like did not seem to have a problem with it at all. One of the nicest people I've ever met to this day, but man that was such a shock. We lost touch over the years, but I heard he got help and is now married with two kids living on the east coast. At least this one was a happy ending. Yeah, he was a super good dude, just had some demons. This dude had a bucket by his sofa that he would just spit in. Ugh, just thinking back to it now makes me boke. It was disgusting. Once while using my friend's bathroom, I saw a portrait they hung that was the most horrifyingly disgusting misshaped person I've ever seen. He hung it right above the sink so you had to look at it while you washed up. What's a phrase you're sick of hearing? I worked in offices for years, so going forward makes my eyes twitch now. Giving time back when ending a meeting two minutes early. I'm giving you the gift of time today. Why thank you for seven minutes. You'll find someone when the time is right. When is that damn time? When it's right. Duh. 315. Both hands pointing right. We need to normalize. Tell me without telling me. One more time for the people in the back. I was today years old. Didn't ask. It's just becoming annoying now. Didn't ask. I'm sorry. It was too perfect. Didn't ask. I love didn't ask. Plus ratio. Plus person outsold. What's the scariest thing you've woken up to in the middle of the night? My grandmother just standing there in the dark by my bed. Quietly wringing her hands and staring at centipede crawling on my face. I still shiver thinking about it when that happened. Cat dropping a giant spider on my chest. Then giant spider disappearing in my panic. My wife sitting straight up out of bed and screaming while pointing down the hallway. She talks in her sleep. Usually it's hilarious. This time it was not. I saw my stuffed animal leave the room. I woke up to use the restroom. Got up. Smack. Something smacked the f*** out of me. Turns out my entire freaking arm was asleep and I got up and the motion just launched it into my face. Almost didn't have to go to the bathroom afterwards. Why are you hitting yourself? A mountain lion purring behind my head through the fabric of the tent. Mountain lion was found as a kitten, raised by people and released back to the wild. Now it just roams the night looking for human to be near. Then it purrs. How do you feel when you're nude? Like I need pockets. Cold. Fat. I also feel fat and I'm in good shape. But I was once a fat kid and that mentality got branded forever. I feel that one big time. Once a fat kid, always a fat kid. Still though, love yourself. Good man. I swing my dog. I feel with my whole body, but my fingertips are still used most, nude or not. How do you feel? Sometimes I use my toes. My boobs. I squeeze them like stress balls. Anybody else hoping they're a guy? Tired, but I feel that while dressed too. Like one of those hairless cats. What is a lot more dangerous than people think? Playing the, well, my alarm turned off, but I just want to rest my eyes for a bit game. Pigs. They look slow and fat. Saw a guy nearly get killed by a pig. First rule for working with pigs, don't fall over in front of them. Also, pig bites hurt. Reddit advice. Sitting for long periods of time. What would you do if you had a clone? First of all, I'd clarify which one of the two is really the clone. Get enough jobs so we didn't have to worry about money. I'd swap out each shift. i take this one, they get the next. Half the workload, same amount of money, twice as much time for everything else. Twice the expenses too though. Play a ton of board games. Make him go to work for me. What makes you think your clone would do that? My clone would tell me to f*** off. Why is everyone acting like a clone is a robot who will do whatever you say? Use him for spare parts. Massage my back. I'll finally have someone who knows how to do it and where I need it most. If men only want one thing, what is it? Someone to discuss most profound thoughts. That sexy lava lamp. Damn. Love and clear communication. No double standard, please. That's two things. Love and clear communication. To dig a big hole at the beach. To be left alone. I have no idea, but I hear it's disgusting. The Krabby Patty secret formula. What's a movie you saw way too young? Gremlins. I remember being terrified once they'd been fed after midnight. I have no memory of the screaming night terror I had in my sleep, but despite extensive cleaning by my mom, the bedroom still smelled of my vomit in the morning. Same movie for me. Saw it in theater is one of the first in theater movies. Was terrified of the bathtub for weeks. The Exorcist. I was 19 when I saw The Exorcist and I was still too young. The Ring. I still am so frightened to walk past the TV at night. I've seen Scary Movie 3, The Grudge, all the Ring movies many times as an adult. Super cheesy. And I'm not afraid of any of the other movies or anything, but I'm still ducking terrified of the girl from the original Ring. Jaws. How long did it take you to swim in the ocean after that? The ocean? It took me a couple of years to get in a swimming pool. I'm still scared of swimming in the ocean. Silence of the Lambs. To this day, I can't see those words without making the Anthony Hopkins tongue noise in my head. Same. Homesick from school one day. Old enough to be home alone, but way too young to be watching How to Sew a Skin Suit. My mom took me to the theater to see Halloween in 1978. I was six. Then in 1980, she took me to see Don't Answer the Phone when I was eight. Your mom was playing the desensitization game. Saw when I was like six or seven. Saw what? What did you see? Dad? Father? What's the dumbest lyrics in history? <laughs> England is my city. She's not a lesbian. For pee, she turned pesbian. Singing about all women who are sexually attracted. Pez dispensers, I see. Girl, I know your favorite beer because you told me and I bought it. Chris Lane. That's kind of him. Who said romance was dead? These answers are going to end 
end up on an AI generated text to speech TikTok video with subway surfers playing in the background. Just for that, I, I, I'm, I'm almost certain that the editor is not going to put subway surfers on this video. You know, we do other stuff like Temple Run and Spider Man, um, maybe Minecraft. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I just work here. I was a geisha when he was a samurai. Somehow I understood him even though he spoke Thai. Nicki Minaj. Okay. Nicki Minaj. Thank you very much. I think I lost a few brain cells reading this. Thanks, Nicki. They call her big booty because she got a big booty. Riveting. I'm in the kitchen. Yams everywhere. I'm afraid of the dark, especially when I'm in a park and no one else is around. Ooh, I get the shivers. I don't want to see a ghost. It's a sight that I fear most. I'd rather have a piece of toast than <laughs> watch the evening news. Desiree, life. This sounds like the kind of poem I would try to write when I was a little kid. Like, it sounds like a third grade writing assignment to write a Halloween poem or something. What is your strongest opinion that's not political, religious, or moral? Uh, Pokemon is the greatest video game franchise of all time. Pineapple does not belong on pizza. Radio ads that have honking horns or sirens should be illegal. As should billboards. If I buy a car, I want to own it without paying a subscription to use the radio or heated steering wheel. Ads with the skip button are more effective than ones without. If an ad has a skip button, you can choose whenever you're interested in said product or not. This proves more clear info to advertisers, too. An unskippable ad makes a person associate the company with a negative experience, therefore downgrading the company. People should learn that saying, I don't know, is a perfectly acceptable thing to say and very often the most accurate. It's much more important to be predictable on the road than polite. When it, <clears throat> when it is your turn, go. It's not a real meeting if there's no agenda. Plans are useless, but planning is essential. Failure to plan is planning to fail. What are some behaviors that scream unintelligence? Obsessively telling everybody how intelligent you are. Do I need to remind you of my IQ from that Facebook quiz again? Getting angry when someone asks them to explain their point. Bonus if they say, do your own research. <clears throat> I just started driving for Uber XL. The amount of people who think they can fit eight people with all their luggage into a mid-size SUV is astonishing. You can see which car comes to pick you up and it says it fits five people. If you have a piece of luggage each, then it's more like three people. I had one group sit there and stare me down like they didn't understand. I swear some people just have mental limit for figuring things out and they all find each other and never get anywhere. Telling people that you are a member of Mensa at every opportunity. What the hell? is Mensa. Hold on, I'm Googling this. <laughs> High IQ society? Oh, go f yourself. Calling names in an argument. Well, you're a poopy head. Nah, son. You're the poopy head. Ugh. You're a poopy butthole head. Thinking saying no is mean. Or that no means yes. Is this being unintelligent or just being shitty? Pooping in the aisles at Walmart. Your username is now a store. What do you sell? Well, as I am says Mason on every social media platform except Twitter, which is says Mason live, <clears throat> I would sell advice. Not fences. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Thank you. Username never fence. Sounds like something a fence store would say. I see right through your charade. Nothing at all. So, NFTs? Not f***ing things. Non-functional testicles. Was the best kind of testicles. Coffee for your enemies. Username Deathspresso. Ben Benny Benjamin says Ben, Bennies, and Benjamins. You need to find a Jerry. Jerry, Jeremy, and Jeremiah is what they need. It's teeth from a Stegosaurus. Guaranteed no Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> Reddit username whale cucks. Boy, do I have a product for you. Is it fun for the whole family? Fun for the whale family. Oh, that's disgusting. Wind. For free. Now that's a great price. What's something that you like that the vast majority of people hate? Um, lime cucumber Gatorade. I think it's my favorite flavor. I love untangling things. Your Christmas lights end up in a ball and there's no telling where it starts or ends. Give. Got a necklace that got rolled up into a total mess? I'm your detangler. Headphones come out of your pocket looking like a tangela? No. Nope problem. Total's end for me. Wish I could make a few bucks with it, though. People that talk a lot, so I don't need to. I like listening to them, and I find their energy refreshing. Everything about the airport. I don't know why, but it's so fascinating. Honestly, I like it more than the trip sometimes. Apparently, a lot of people don't like the lemon yellow Starburst candy, and that's the one I prefer. I'm a big citrus guy myself. I prefer the yellow Starburst. It's good. Doing the dishes. I find it so calming. Hey, you free later? Wrapping presents. It's super therapeutic and relaxing to me. I'll wrap everyone's presents in the house, even the ones that they have to give to other people. If everyone would just get off my about it, mother, and let me take my time, I'd love it. I did it for Macy's one Christmas and learned how to do it. Every edge and fold is clean, and the bows are majestic as heck. And I still do my own that way, but my mom will ask me to wrap something for her and then stand there and tell me I'm so slow, and it doesn't have to be perfect, blah, blah, blah. Ma'am, you asked me because you know I'm good at it. If it takes five minutes, that's how long it takes. Using my blinker. If you had a chance to rename the letter W from W to something else, what would it be? Double V! It's literally two Vs. So, let's see what else everyone else has to say. What? Wumbo. Double V. Based. W. Thought they said you were changing the name. B. That's short. Easy 
easy to say and understand. Wubble do. Up M. Down M. Flip M. What popular sayings are bullshit? Cheaters never win. What goes around comes around. Bullshit. I've seen people be dicks my entire life. I'm 57. And they never got what should have come around to them. Karma is a self-soothing concept. A way to not feel powerless. Out of sight, out of mind. Ever lost track of a spider? Lightning never strikes the same place twice. The early bird gets the worm. No, the early bird gets stuck waiting in line with everyone else who decided to be the early bird as well. Early worm gets eaten, and the second mouse gets the cheese. Black cats bring bad luck. Yeah, they're just adorable little fluff balls that want love too. Rules are meant to be broken. They were made for literally the opposite. What is the worst thing that a person can put on their bio on a dating app? No face pic until I know you don't know my husband or wife. I've seen this multiple times. Alternative bio, I'm either cheating or trying to cheat. Entertain me. No. If you want to see someone jump through unnecessary hoops to impress you, the circus isn't always an option. A list of 10 plus requirements for a partner while they themselves don't even have their <laughs> together. Looking to lick feet. Saw that one time. Gotta appreciate the upfrontness, I suppose. States what they're seeking. No bullshit. <laughs> Wish more people were like that, TBH. The part where you insult people by rambling off a list of who must swipe left or face your wrath. Swipe left. Move along. Anytime I see those, I just swipe left anyway, even if I don't meet the criteria. It's just a, it's such a pretentious way to filter people. I mean, the only one I have like that on my Tinder bio is no Republicans or anti-vaxxers. I mean, same thing. I'm a good guy. No, you're not. You're not a good guy. Literally anything I put on mine, apparently, I can't even get a bite from a bot. Hey, BB, you're hot. Message me for pics or to video chat. Free live shows at this is not a bot. I'm a real girl. Dot I got unmatched by a bot. Still considering it one of my greatest achievements. What is a fun fact about yourself? <clears throat> fun fact about me, personally, is that I'm in the process of creating a uh, fake Pokemon region from scratch. With over like 120 or so drafted up Pokemon um, that I'm commissioning artists to make and then I have like the whole story and like a whole map and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, but let's see what these guys have to say. I can write cursive backwards and can write with both hands. I'm sure I can print backwards as well, but that's too easy. Jumped off a moving train on a dare when I was eight. I did the same, but I was 23. Very stupid idea. Friend of mine did that in high school. Slipped. Train cut his leg off way above the knee. Ugh. I got an exorcism a few months ago. I have cheated death twice. The first time I was in a really bad car accident, bled out and died on scene. Still managed to come back five minutes later. This incident actually made me smarter than I was before due to brain damage. The second time, I got shot in the chest with a mortar on July 4th this year. I miraculously walked away without any damages to my body. What a rush. I got eye surgery because I was seeing double. Went well. And now I see better. So now you see triple. I once visited Paris as a tourist and cried walking down the street because I was fat. This fact is not fun. Yeah, I could never go to Paris. Won a paper plane contest. I guess the opposition folded. Who is the biggest piece of on the earth in your opinion? My co-worker who was always quick to take credit for other people's work. And when confronted, talks about how he grew up in poverty and needs every advantage he can to make it in this world. He didn't grow up poor. His family had several maids. Whoever the f*** invented pop-up ads. There is no competition on earth with more qualified candidates. Rupert Murdoch. My buddy Eric. Elephant sh probably. That kid that climbed in the Cincinnati Zoo enclosure and got Harambe killed. Look, don't blame the kid. If anything, blame the parents for not watching the kid. Kids will be kids. What ruins a movie? Oh, uh, when Chris Pratt is in it. <clears throat> when actors take a sip of their drink. Why do they all suck at it and make it look so bad? Loud ass explosions and quiet ass dialogue. Music louder than the dialogue too. Twist villains. Basically revealing that the bad guy in the last 10-15 minutes of the movie. Disney has gotten really bad with this. Unnecessary love interests when the plot has nothing to do with romance. Like I walked in to watch an action movie. I don't need a new character introduced halfway through just to give the character a girlfriend. Useless sex scenes unless it is something the story could revolve around. It's a totally a drop for me. Same with unnecessary naked girl in 99% of horror movies. I thought I was becoming a prude until I realized that I'm sitting there waiting for the story to start again. No one is dying although everyone is shooting fight scenes where I can barely tell what I'm looking at. What song is instantly recognizable by the first few words? It's Bam. <clears throat> you are my fire. Just a small town girl. Is this the real life? Hello darkness, my old friend. Ooka chaka, ooka, ooka, ooka chaka. Oh, what is love? I'm a Bobby girl. I don't know this one. Two, <clears throat> two trailer park girls. I don't know that. I don't know the song. Crazy. First note of Mr. Brightside is immediately recognizable. Brag a little. What is the coolest thing you've done lately? I just passed my driving test and bought my first car. I'm 45 years old. I have a corgi, and when people ask to pet her, I tell them yes, but she doesn't usually like strangers. Then they are overjoyed when it turns out the dog loves them. Truth is, the dog loves everyone. My little cousin tried to shoot me with Nerf guns. I caught three and dodged the rest. I got one of the hottest girls I know's number. First time I got a girl's number. Saved a guy on his bike who was standing in the blind spot of a big truck. Truck was waiting in front of a traffic light to turn right. Bike was standing near passenger side. I ran in front of the truck, waving my hands. Truck stopped. Bike guy saved. Little hero feeling for the rest of the day. Hey, good on you, man. Tackle the guy who robbed a woman at gunpoint. What is the biggest unsolved mystery? Placebo effect. This is a minor miracle and it's insane to me that it's glossed over so easily. You could literally be 
cured of an illness, ailment, just by convincing your brain that you took medication for it. AKA, our brains and beliefs can literally change our experience of reality fundamentally. How I can consistently be wide awake from 2 to 5 a.m. under perfect sleeping conditions, but then fall into a blissful sleep an hour before my alarm goes off for work. How do Charlie Sheen and Emilio Estevez both resemble Martin Sheen, yet look nothing alike? How is my girlfriend simultaneously completely unsure about what she wants to eat, totally confident that she doesn't want any of my suggestions? Where all my f***ing pens keep disappearing to? Why my two cats fight over the same toy, but there are two of everything in our house for this reason? How moms can pull something out of the fridge that wasn't there when you looked in that exact spot? What does not belong in a swimming pool? Poop. A sinkhole. Nasty ass Use band-aids. Hydrophobic people. <laughs> Pikachu. Top 30 worst Pokemon to go swimming with. Number 25 will shock you. Literally. A lawnmower. Soggy bread. Why the f*** do people bring bread to the pool? Because people like bread and are gross. And sandwiches. What is the dumbest thing an adult asked you? Seriously. Um, I worked at a grocery store where we had a five cent coupon if you brought in your own bag. And this lady asked for the tax off on the coupon as well. What's your email address? S via email. I had to go take a lap around the building to prevent my brain from imploding. What is with you kids being so childish? I hope my kindergarten teacher was joking. My older sister once asked me if cruise control allowed her to take her hands off the wheel. If evolution is true, then how come I don't wake up with antlers on my head? Will these fluorescent bulbs work at night? Of course. Why do you ask? Well, these are all marked daylight and I really want to use the light at night. Do you think you got autism from licking walls coated in lead paint? Are you Scottish or British? Yes, and British. Which dead singer would have the greatest farewell tour if we were able to resurrect them for one last ride? Freddie Mercury would be legendary. I didn't even finish reading the question before thinking Freddie Mercury and it seems like the universe is in agreement on that too. Freddie Mercury. Freddie, Freddie, Freddie Mercury, Freddie M for the win, Freddie Mercury, Bob Marley. We could use some good vibes. Michael Jackson. Sadly, this is what killed him. Sorry, but Tupac would give a motherfucking show tour all around the world and it would be insane. What would you name your pet frog if you got one? Uh, <laughs> the name's Pond. James Pond. Throg. Kermit. I think Jerome. Pepe. Moisty Toast. Soggy Bread. Ribbit Downey Jr. What's something you own a ridiculous amount of? Problems in every shape and color. Lego. Every relative gets me them for my birthday and Christmas. My first word problem is I have sets I haven't even opened yet. Condoms, I never get to use them. Notebooks that I'll never use and pens that no longer work. Hair all over the body. Mental illnesses, gotta catch them all, am I right? Cables, there is an unspoken universal law. You will need a cable within a month if you throw it away. What is something you should never bring on a first date? Duct tape, my other girlfriends. Table for four, please. This guy's got three girlfriends? I can't even get one. Your ex-boyfriend. Well, she didn't bring him along. However, we went on her suggestion to the restaurant that he works at. That was a tad awkward. Expectations, your Pokemon cards. A magic wand and a chessboard. Your or other personality. What family tradition ends with you? Children. I don't want children. I don't like them that much. 200 years of living in London. My kids will never be able to afford to rent or buy here. Having kids. I think that's just an end of the family. We conduct a barefoot run around the house at Christmas time and the finisher's order determines the order in which we receive presents. Even though there are 20 of us, it was great when there were only six of us. I mean, the family ends with me, so I guess all of them. Haha, <laughs> same. Pretty childhoods. Santa. He's not getting any more credit for my hard work. Video killed the radio star. What did the internet kill? Social skills. Privacy. Friendly conversation. Critical thinking. My faith in humanity. MTV. Or at least the kind that played actual music videos. The video star. Duh. Blockbuster. Brain cells. Brain cells. Human decency. What's the worst answer you wrote to a question you didn't know on an exam? It was a geography test. And the question was, why is it always raining in a certain area? My answer was, because the clouds are sad. I drew a sad cloud crying for visual support. I know a guy who took one look at tests, got up, put a $20 bill on the teacher's desk with an unfinished test, then proceeded to leave. He works at a car wash now. I wish I studied for this one. I couldn't figure out how to end an essay one time, so I just ended it with, that's the way it is. The teacher was not happy. Told me I wasn't Walter Cronkite. Drew a large bear over the question, and at the bottom wrote, cannot answer because there is a bear in the way. You're a genius. That's very clever. 42. I remember there was a gigantic math equation once, and it was the hardest question on the test, and we were given a ton of space for the answer. I wrote, bruh, as my answer. Everyone in class got that question wrong, by the way, so I felt like my answer was the most sensible. What's the most useless piece of advice you can give? If you ever drop your keys in lava, forget them. Cause man, they're gone. Jack Handy. You can't fail if you don't try. Get good. I disagree. When I was a kid, I knew someone who was complaining, so I told them to get good. That kid is Elon Musk. Never pet a flaming cat. Just tilt your head back and let the meat slide down your throat hole. What the hell? <laughs> what? I see your mom passed down her party tricks. If your head ever gets like a bitten by a shark, remember, do not put a tourniquet on your neck. You will hang yourself. Tip. Breathe air, not water. Air provides oxygen. Water does not. I don't know if I believe you if I'm honest. Just be happy. Wow. No one has ever thought of that. You can have any superpower you want. Which one do you choose? Teleportation.
teleportation. This is the one I want the most. Other people can be God and whatnot. I just want to instantly be anywhere I want to be. To reach into any picture or pause video and pull out or deposit an item within. Imagine watching, say, the Tri Channel and stealing lunch from them, then reloading the video when you get hungry. Being able to have my soul leave my body. I can go see others' dreams or go wherever I want without being seen, just to read minds. Telling people what they want to hear, if possible, or knowing their thought to have it ready to make a counter argument or something would make life a breeze. I always thought reading mine would be a burden. I don't want to hear something I didn't want to hear. Yeah, but every superpower has that drawback, but the good parts are worth it. Just to be superhuman. This includes everything from super speed, super strength, super senses, basically everything basic. What would be the most inconvenient, annoying thing to fill a pinata with? 100% glitter. Mayonnaise. My thoughts exactly. Existential dread. Baked beans. Sulfuric acid. Thumbtacks and cockroaches. Bees. Hornets and fiberglass. What's the polite way to tell a customer their card declined? I didn't know getting a card declined was embarrassing. Declined. They told me to cut the card up too. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. There is way too much money on this card. Our system can't handle it. Got any cash? You broke bitch. Yo, this don't work. <laughs> You are given a phone and are told that the next text it sends will send a message to every phone on the planet. What do you text? December 23rd, 2025. Ah, the classic, keep them scared. Worldwide, 50-50 raffle. Venmo, my Venmo, $2 for a ticket. Easy money. While it wouldn't work on everyone, you'd, they, you'd get a good amount of money from that. Five minutes remaining. Man, people really just want to scare the entire world, huh? One person has escaped the simulation. 7.3 billion left. Difficulty increased. Good luck. Your time is limited. The purge has now started. All crime will be legal for the next 24 hours. Tomorrow night at 12 a.m. Be ready. I'm just gonna rickroll the world. So simple yet so effective. Americans, what's something Europeans need to hear? Free, clean, omnipresent public restrooms are indeed possible. Do we do that? I have never been to a clean public restroom. It's past time you take James Corden back. Please Please, for the love of God, get rid of him. Europe is getting fat too. While us Americans might have the most greasy, disgusting food possible, uh, everywhere else can still eat too much, you know? I don't really know why we would say that to Europeans, but okay. Putting corn on pizza doesn't make it American pizza. It just makes it disgusting. Uh, it doesn't sound like the grossest thing, but it's not really American. A good looking guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. Might not be a movie, but it sure is film. Putting ice in drinks and giving people free tap water are about to make a lot more sense as Europe gets warmer. Don't be a dick about it. Please. What genuinely still makes you as happy as it did when you were a kid? Hard question. I don't have an answer. Riding a bicycle still feels like freedom. It's the next best thing to being able to fly. I haven't ridden a bike in so long. I should probably get on that. The bike, I mean. Licking the mixing spoon of some brownies or cake batter. I'd say that's kind of a universal euphoric moment for a lot of people. Unless you really don't like sweets, then oops. Anytime I drive past a field of cows or horses, I'll proclaim it. Cows! Or horses! Childish, maybe, but they are very nice animals, I always thought. The smell of cinnamon and oranges. Mm. That sound was the smile. <laughs> Christmas. Love me some Christmas. I've still never experienced a white Christmas, and I feel like I'm being robbed when pizza is for dinner. Okay, but pizza nights are, like, the best dinner nights, right? Like, adult child who cares. It's great. Finding a coin on the ground. If it's tail side up, don't you dare pick that up. What's something you can't believe you had to explain to a grown adult? That Australia isn't a part of the UK. How can you get to be a grown adult and not know that Australia is fake? It's made up. No, my snake won't turn into two if you cut him in half. What did they think? A snake was like a starfish or worms? Not me, but my husband. Had to tell his best friend why jumping Jumping around in the woods with some deer antlers he had found on his head was a bad idea. They were hunting. I had to explain that bats were a real animal and not a mythical made-up creature after telling an ex-girlfriend that I saw one flying above us and she thought I was insane. That rabbits do not hatch from eggs for Easter like you see on commercials. I have rabbits that I bring places with me and a co-worker asked how big the eggs were. I had to explain that to an adult. My son has a big plastic egg so as a joke I put a baby rabbit in it and showed him that the noise flies make come from their wings, not their mouths. I love the idea that flies are flying around screaming. <laughs>
as they do. Either way, they, those things need to put a silencer on there because goddamn, you come near my ear and then I freak out. What's a dumb thing to say while being held at gunpoint? Oh, don't stab me. <laughs> Yo, the safety's still on. Is that real? What are you gonna do? Shoot me? You're holding it wrong. Here, here, let me show you. Giving off major Hermione vibes right now. Not gonna lie, still read that as Hermione the first time. I bet you can't shoot me three times in the center of my chest before I grab that. Come and will Hermione says what? Ah, gotcha. You can't hurt me now. Uh, if you shoot me, your penis is small. Okay, Reddit. What's the weirdest thing you did as a child? I'm ready to see some awful things. Once I graduated kindergarten, I used to pathologically avoid my former teachers like the devil, probably even to the point of rudeness. This was in a smallish town, so not impossible. The reason for this behavior was that I really wanted one of them to say the phrase, long time no see. And I felt that to get one of them to say it, I needed to sort of save up the time that they hadn't seen me for a really long time. I don't know why I thought the phrase long time no see was so cool, but that's what I thought it was. Cool. Probably too much American TV, but I digress. I took a sh on the lawn because I wanted to be like my dog. And now you go to jail. You're in jail now. I used to eat tulip stems. My mom would get so mad because I would eat all her flowers. Didn't have to worry about rabbits, just me. I would also eat chapstick. Not sure why. I ate dog biscuits. I seem to recall quite liking them. I, I have a confession. I ate dog treats when I was younger because they did taste okay. I used to lay on my bed and put my feet on the wall telling stories to myself and pretending like they were puppets. I peed on a chicken because it pooped on me the day before. Eh, it's just classic revenge. So I was holding a really big fart. The bully barged in trying to find a new victim. I taunted him. He came for me and I farted right into his face. Look, if you didn't do it, he was going to do it too. I tried to chop up my Fruit Loops with a mirror. I got the idea from Metallica's Master of Puppets. One of the verses says, chop your breakfast on a mirror. Sounded like a good idea to me. Oh no, buddy. What's a great answer to the question, what's your biggest weakness? Being uncooperative. And when they ask for an example, just say no. LMAO. Just say, my bladder with a lopsided grin and an ever-increasing wet patch growing in the crotch area. Ew. Don't have the strength to tell you. Big pretty golf girls. Yeah, you and everybody else has that weakness. Definitely the crotch area. If I get hit there, then I'm down for a good minute at least. My excessive number of strengths intimidates those around me. I have a hard time dealing with stupid questions. What's an unusual body feature of yours? I have a body mole in my eye, like inside of it and near the pupil. Me too, apparently. Eye doctor said to keep an eye on it, lol. But I'm like, how? I mean, it would be a pretty bad situation if there wasn't an eye on it. I developed arthritis at 16 years old. Also, I have a massive a for a dude. Double cheeked up. Nice misdirect there. Wasn't expecting the a Ever since my brain surgery to remove a tumor, I can't feel any temperature. Is this all over or located in one area? Mostly all over torso, arms, and head. Can't even feel my face, so it's hard to shave. Sounds like they forgot to plug something back in. Oh, no, no, it's okay. Just turn everything off and then turn it back on. My belly button is significantly off-center. I have two different ears. One is wide enough for earbuds, the other isn't. My twin brother has the mismatch on the opposite side. Sounds like you guys traded an ear in the womb. You're gonna owe me a kidney later. This is what I tell my twin. Spare parts. One of my ribs is not connected to my spine. Is that what they call a true floating rib? I believe it's called a spare rib. I have a bifurcated uvula, that teardrop thing in the back of your throat. Mine is shaped like a butt or a little nutsack. Throat scroat. I think we finally found a new evolution. It used to be throat goat. Now it is throat scroat. Two uteruses and two cervixes, aka uterus didelphi same, and doctors didn't know until my first C-section. I have two kids and one came from the right and the other came from the left. I call it the duplex. What series you can re-watch again and again? Currently I've been re-watching episodes of What We Do in the Shadows and I think this is a modern classic. Does the show live up to the goodness of the movie? I've honestly seen quite a bit of praise for it but not looked into it myself yet. Surpasses in my opinion. Oh, absolutely, the show is great. Like, de I would definitely recommend checking that out. It's one of my new favorites. Malcolm in the Middle. Edit. Holy crap, this is a lot of upvotes. My cousin threw this on in the background during a visit with family, and every new episode that came on, I said the same thing. This is the greatest episode. There is no such thing as a bad Malcolm in the Middle episode. I recently binged the entire series, and oh my god, it is such a gem. Season 3 to 9 of The Simpsons,
Origins and Season 1 to 3 of Spongebob. Seasons 3 to 9 are a religion in Argentina. You can have an entire conversation using only Simpsons quotes. Futurama. I've pavloved myself into only being able to fall asleep if a Futurama episode is on. Same. My nightly ritual is a couple episodes of Futurama, then set the sleep timer for an hour. Arrested Development, but only the original run. The show is a work of art, and the newer seasons could never measure up to one to three. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Kitten Mittens will forever be the GOAT intro to any episode of any show ever. Women of Reddit, what is the grossest thing a man has said to you? I know there's some awful ones in here. When I was 18, I worked at a gas station, mostly staffed by women. One of my coworkers was pregnant. We had a regular customer who came in a windowless van who would harass us constantly. He would hit on us and leer at us and sit in the parking lot in his creepy abductor van and catcall us if we were out sweeping the parking lot while he drank his coffee. The worst thing I heard him say was to my pregnant coworker. He asked her when she was going to have his baby. Our manager heard it and came down hard on him. She started screaming in his face and to paint the picture, he was a tall lanky guy and she was a short stout lesbian with a butch haircut. And she banned him from the store. He huffed that he'd take his business elsewhere and she scoffed at him that his two coffee refills a day weren't going to break us and that she would not stand for him harassing her girls. The manager was a rock star. She always had our backs. I was writing up a menu on a blackboard at a cafe. A regular said, great, that's where you belong, on your knees. Wish I had snapped back, but I was too shocked to reply to his f***ed remark. Jesus Christ, people, can you not be creeps in public for one minute? I'm a natural redhead, long auburn hair with curls that I've always had unwanted attention for. I remember I was nine years old and sitting in a Chinese restaurant with my family when a male middle-aged waiter came to take our food and started complimenting my hair, which was fine and all, but he started touching it and massaging my scalp and shoulders, saying how I was so beautiful. This didn't seem to weird out my parents, but it made me very uncomfortable, but I didn't say anything because I was scared in case my parents would tell me that I was being rude. Probably not the grossest thing on the list, but the fact it was done to a nine-year-old little girl makes it downright creepy. When I was 11, I had sudden unexplained knee pain, which resulted in me not being able to bend it and limping. I was constantly in and out of hospitals. It went on for months. I missed a lot of school and it really took a toll on my family and me because they couldn't explain it. So doctors came to the conclusion that it must be psychosomatic, but they sent me to some last expert and one of the things he said to me that stuck with me till this day was, why don't you want to walk normal again? How would you ever find a boyfriend like that? It was rheumatism, by the way. Why anybody says this to children is insane. Like, come on. It's not that hard to not be weird. You can earn my respect back through your sexual penance. The f type of kingdom did you live in? Are you a washing machine? I want to chuck my dirty load in you. Takes the cake. Nothing has ever come close to that guy. And that guy will never come close to anyone else. I was working at a hardware store and helping a guy when a female co-worker walked by. He said, I would eat a yard of her just to lick the bowl. I will probably never forget that. Men of Reddit, what's your best bro tip? Do not leave your home smelling musty. Always do self pat downs before leaving the house, even if you know you put everything in your pockets. Wowie! Wallet, phone, keys, egg, egg. Back up. I have a question. This one for Reddit specifically. If your friends invite you somewhere you normally wouldn't be interested in, a ball game or whatever, say yes and do it anyway. It ain't about the activity. Always keep your ass cheeks clean. As the prophet of ass cheek cleanliness, I am here to say, buy a bidet and spread your crack in the shower. It's literally that simple. Like, you don't have to get your hands in there. Like, you just gotta clean it. Wash your junk. Please and thank you. If you have dandruff, don't rely on head and shoulders. Use tea gel. Works wonders after you get used to the smell. I've never heard of that, and now I'm wondering about the smell. What's a quote from history that gives you chills? Nobody believed Marco Polo's stories about traveling through Asia, and on his deathbed, someone asked him to admit he had made it all up. His response was, I have not told half of what I have seen. That always got my imagination going. I would have liked to have heard his stories straight from him. There are decades where nothing happens, and there are weeks where decades happen. Vladimir Ilyich Lenin. We will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Martin Luther King Jr. A janitor in NASA during the space race was asked by J. JFK what he's doing. He said, I'm helping put a man on the moon. After all, dinosaurs have been on this earth for 150 million years. It's not like we're going to just disappear, Earl Sinclair. When was the moment you realized that your friends
friends are assholes. I let my friend borrow my PS2 when I went to boot camp. When I came back, he said he sold it and gave me 50 bucks, I think? This was in 2006, when they robbed me at gunpoint. That'll do it. Yep, <laughs> hate it when that happens. When they tell me to shut up when I say anything. Okay, but you were like being like really annoying though. When he does to me and acts like it's no big deal, then I do the same back and he gets offended. Well, duh. Punching bags aren't supposed to punch back. When people view other people as things in their life, they don't like it when they perform in ways they aren't meant to. A friend never had much money, but that was okay. Gave him a lift home from a hospital appointment about 40 miles. No problem. Came a time I needed a lift home from A&E, maybe five miles. He asked for petrol money. A dim light came on. Was it the gas light? There's no such thing as a gas light. You literally sound insane. A classmate told me my friend was saying some weird stuff behind my back. I didn't believe it and she told me to lock myself into the bathroom stall and to listen. She managed to get her to talk about me and what I heard wasn't nice at all. She called me some names and said that she didn't like me at all. She was just pretending to. Sadly, I didn't drop her immediately. Was friends with her for a good year after that. She just got worse. Eventually dropped her. Should have opened the stall and called her bitch ass out. Should have launched a poo over the top and shouted, it's over, Bethany. Some good options here. I like the creativity. What are some great tips for teenagers? Brush your teeth. They may seem fine for a while, but it'll catch up to you fast. 24 years old here, drank copious amounts of energy drinks and fizzy during high school and uni. Going in for my first of four dental work appointments next week. Goodbye, $8,000. Learn to cook. As an adult, no one prepared me for the fact I would have to decide what to eat and prepare it for every meal for the rest of my life. Your option widen when you know how to cook. Remember that right now is not forever. The teenage years are just one small chapter in the book of your life. Don't join r slash teenagers. Best advice here. Why, thank you. That sub is a weirdo hotspot. Don't be a fool. Protect your tool. I heard that in Mr. T's voice. Wrap it before you tap it. Don't be silly. Wrap your willy. Bag it before you shag it. Delete TikTok. Watch your dopamine come back. What is a film that gets a huge amount of praise but you think is awful? I don't know if it does get a lot of praise, but Bird Box had a very ending. Yeah, the hype of that movie when it came out was just mm, not it. Paranormal Activity. I've seen scarier crap in a public toilet. I think for the time it was probably crazy, but as the series went on, yeah, not so much. Gravity. Yeah, sure, it's Sandy Bullock, but the entire movie is just her going to space and coming back while trying to be suspenseful when you know very well they won't kill off the only character they show. The Notebook. As much as I like Ryan Gosling, I still haven't watched it. Frozen. Sorry, not sorry. It's completely overshadowed the release of Big Hero 6, which deserves a lot more attention than it got. Fast and Furious. All of them. Why do you hate family? Because family is made up of assholes. Meet the parents. It's just two hours of being vicariously stressed out and embarrassed for Ben Stiller. Anything Marvel. Sorry, Marvel fans. I'm gonna have to agree with Caitlin on this one. You can kill me on Twitter. I don't care. What is your weirdest story that sounds too far-fetched to be true? Mine is when I was in high school. I lived out in the countryside of Central Texas. I was just kind of bumbling around on the property and my mom's little chihuahua was tagging along. I heard a bird, saw a fast-moving shadow, and threw my arms out, slapping a hawk out of the air as it tried to get my mom's chihuahua. Cut my arm pretty good, but saved that little rat of a dog. The chihuahua went on to pass away at a smooth 19 years old. I won a two-week cruise vacation for two in a contest. I never entered the contest. I was convinced I was being scammed. Even from the beaches of the Caribbean, I still wasn't convinced. New Luigi's Mansion game confirmed. When my dad and stepmom met, my dad swore he'd met her before, but couldn't remember when or where. Eventually, he decided he'd seen her in Cody, Wyoming, the town where he grew up. She swore she'd never even been to Wyoming. She's from Oregon, and that's where they met. Several years later, after they'd been married a while, stepmom mentions to her mom that my dad swears he met her in Cody, but she's never been there. Her mom says, yes, you have, and pulls out a photograph from 1956 of her, age nine, riding on a mechanical horse, a kid one, and in the background, standing around in the corner, is my dad and his two brothers, ages eight, 10, and 11. She submitted the story to a local magazine for a Valentine's Day contest one year and won a trip to a resort. Some honorable mentions, by the time I was 20, I was one degree of separation away from five different people who'd been murdered by three different serial killers. Gotta love the PNW, and I almost hit Bob Dylan with my car once. I took my VW to the dealer to get some work done. The service rep at the counter 
was so hungover, possibly still intoxicated, that he couldn't handle completing the paperwork. He told the tech that I was a VIP, specifically Britney Spears' brother, and that he owes me a favor. So the work was on the house, and they just never did any paperwork. Didn't charge me a dime, did the work, handed me the keys, and away I drove. God, if only I could be that lucky. What? Come on, I need my car fixed too. I went jogging one night and came across a lady laid out face first. No heartbeat. Started doing CPR. Never saw another person. Was able to call 911 while doing CPR. Kept at it 20 minutes till FD got there. She made a full recovery. They said CPR that long has a 95% fail rate. Story I like to share. Younger brother thought it would be a good idea to take the bright blue parakeet we shared as a pet out of its cage in his hands to show it to the trees outside. Said bird flies off never to be seen again. Fast forward 12 years, engaged, moved 60 miles down the road, and sharing interesting tales with newfound friends. One guy said, always remember, about 12 years ago, as a child, was cycling down the road when suddenly this cute blue parakeet came out of the sky and landed on my finger. He even let me take it inside and he became our pet for a few years. Some time matching and further descriptions points to it being the same bird. That is one of the craziest coincidences I think I've heard. <laughs> my uncle and I were driving in New York City and we almost hit this dude. My uncle slams in his brakes and the dude was expecting to get hit and I mean by the smallest of margins. It was Dan Aykroyd. He called us motherfuckers. It was an honor to get cursed out by a ghostbuster. What is the creepiest thing that you've come across on internet? Years ago I came across a website that was just a collection of links to unsecured camera feeds. Webcams, baby monitors, security cameras, basically anything with a lens and Wi-Fi capabilities. Apparently most people never set up their devices properly and just leave deep default passwords or none at all, and this website was just trawling through the internet finding them all. I kept thinking of the video of the cartel gang member cutting a dude's face off and wearing it like a Halloween mask. Gore doesn't bother me, but the idea of someone cutting my face and scalp off and wearing it for a joke in front of me while I bleed out is crazy to me. Yeah, unrestricted internet access as a young child definitely did some damage. That one video where the car was driving down the mountain road and you had to pay close attention and then it turns out to be a screamer. I fall for that video on average once every four years. I'm going to go with creepy, not horrifying, or even effed up. I can't remember who it was, but back in the day on YouTube, a man posted long videos of himself just sitting and looking straight into the camera with a smile. Not a single movement the whole time. Always a live feed. One day, someone broke into his home during the live show and actually ended up leaving without stealing anything because the guy didn't react at all. Just sat there, wide-eyed, and smiling at the camera. Thinking back as a thief, that would scare the heck out of me. This picture of Mickey Mouse that was added to my DSI's wallpaper. I have never owned or known someone that owns a Mickey Mouse plush. I do not recognize the area, wall, chair, or anything in the picture. I have not lent my DSI to anyone. It just appeared one day when I opened it. It still creeps me out and I still question how could this have happened. Unfortunately, I don't get a visual aid on that one, but uh, whoa, scary. <laughs> Those ghosts showing up in mirror you YouTube videos. To this day, I'm still scared to walk past mirrors at night sometimes. Audio from the Jonestown Massacre. I'm not gonna look that up and I don't think you should either. That sounds awful. The browser history of my father. Relatable AF. What is something that's okay to pirate? Gold doubloons and, and video games. <laughs> Anything you find flagged as this product is not available in your region. If I wrote a best-selling book and found that the publisher for some reason didn't sell it at all in, say, Canada, I'd be enthusiastic about Canadians pirating it. Less so in countries where the book was actually being sold. As an Australian, I feel this on such a deep level. Not being available in our region is like part of our cultural identity. Treasure ships. That's kind of the whole point. Yarg! I personally pirate anything I want that for whatever reason isn't available to purchase in my country. Like, I'll give you money for this, but if you won't let me, I'll just steal it until you give the option. College textbooks. Especially if a professor assigns a book they wrote themselves. Software from Adobe. Everyone I know who is now a paying customer proficient in Adobe and uses it for professional work started out pirating it. They became a professional in it because it was easy to pirate. NFTs. It'll never not be funny to screenshot NFTs. Please keep doing it until they disappear from the earth. Like, it, please. Cars. You wouldn't download a car. Everything. Sharing is caring. Which Mandela effect freaks you out the most? That the fruit of the Loom logo never had a cornucopia. What's crazy about that one is that someone emailed the creator of the logo about it and he said even he remembered
remembers it having one. Just had one personally. Went to a mall where there was supposedly a gym, asked around, and nobody that worked at the mall knew what I was talking about. Looked around and couldn't find it. Come back a few months later, and it's right there in front of my face. You'd have to be strung out to not notice it. I don't know how or when it just appeared, but it freaked me out. Take my strong hand. From the Scary Movie franchise. I know he said it. Me and my friends would quote it at each other during school. Multiple other friends had the same memories, but went to different schools, so I know it's not just my friendship group that got it wrong. Growing up, me and my mates used to say, Take my strong hand. WTF. Wait, does he not say that? The Nightmare Before Christmas. Zero's nose was a red light similar to Rudolph and not a pumpkin. I will die on this hill. The reason it ticks me off so much is because this isn't something I vaguely remember. I know. I know every word to every song. I can recite this movie off the top of my head verbatim. And Zero was my favorite as a kid. I actually remember the exact moment I saw the change and thought, WTF is that? I have seen pictures online of merch and people's tattoos where Zero is depicted exactly as I remember him, so I know it's not just me. The fact that it's Febreze, not Febreze, gets me. Why the f wouldn't it be Febreze? Breeze! It's a word that means very mild wind. It makes sense to have it for a scented spray. The f is Briz? That's not a word. I'm out. This world isn't real. Mr. Monopoly's monocle. I swear they change things just to mess with people. Fruit Loops change to Fruit Loops, then back to Fruit Loops. That's just cruel. Cruel. Then cruel again. Yeah, that one's hard for the people that are just listening and not looking. <laughs> what do you think of when you hear Africa? I hear the drums echoing tonight. But she lays here, only whispers of some quiet conversation. Sunset with orange sky and a silhouette of a tree and a giraffe. A quick Google image search of African-based novel covers will confirm this. Hell, search up Africa by itself and you'll still find it. Every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes. The Lion King. I thought that's what they were saying a couple answers back. Uh, whatever. Mmm. Madagascar looking quite plump. I just hear a Nigerian mum kissing her teeth in my head. What is... What? What? Huh? Continent, not country. I live in the US. When I meet people from Africa, they tell me they are from Africa. They assume we are too dumb to understand. They are right for the most part. The food. My God. The delicious food. I've watched travel food shows and some of the food looks simply divine. I have a few friends who are from Ghana and Senegal and most of what they make is so delicious. Jolof rice. Yes, please. Batman has just saved your life and now he's driving you home in the Batmobile. You want to engage in small talk. What would you ask him? Just refer to taxi slash cab small talk. Been doing this a long time? Working much longer today? Weather ain't that great. Bet you meet some characters. What kind of mileage does this thing get? Thanks for saving my life, Bruce man. Uh, I mean, Bat Wayne. Uh, oh, sh So, what do your parents do for a living? So does that suit, like, uh, really seal in the flavor or what? Is Wonder Woman single? Can you parallel park this thing? So, looks back at the wreckage from the back window. Does this mean I'm Robin now? Lube up. Well, and that's enough Reddit for the day. For real, like, good God, man. The perfect black makeup around the eyes. You do it yourself or Alfred helps you out? A lot of people seem to be under the impression that we know who Batman is. Movie buffs of Reddit. What special effect totally looks like CGI, but was actually done practically? You know the scary Bilbo scene in Fellowship of the Ring? That was a puppet. That scene in the Tim Burton version of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where they walk into a processing room with dozens of squirrels sorting nuts. Those are actual squirrels actually doing that. Burton hired animal handlers to train a bunch of squirrels from birth to sort nuts for that shot. My first answer would be the animatronic T-Rex from the first Jurassic Park. At the time, everyone was like, no way this is real. Fun fact, because of heavy rain on the set, the T-Rex animatronic would malfunction and start moving on its own, scaring the shit out of the set crew. And rightfully so. The animatronic was so big and powerful, they'd probably be better off getting hit by a bus. Another fun fact, more money was spent on the budget of the original Jurassic Park than had ever been spent on the entire history of paleontology to that point. I mean, it doesn't look amazing, but that shot where Scott Pilgrim throws his package into the garbage without looking behind him, that was real. I think it took a 
long time to get that shot, but that was all him. Oh yeah, I think there's a behind the scenes video on YouTube that you can look up of how many times it took them to get that shot right. Everything in 2001, A Space Odyssey. I remember reading somewhere that computer monitors that small didn't exist at the time, so all of the screens had hand-painted slides rear projected onto panes of glass, which is just wild to me. The scene in Harry Potter where the owl crash lands on the dining table. Oh, that poor bird. The scene in Spider-Man 2002 where he catches the food on the tray was done 100% practically and it took over 100 takes. The mouse circus scene from Coraline. How could those tiny mouse models all bend so much? They didn't. It's part of the long tradition of substitution animation, where even metal can be stop motion animated by sculpting each pose as its own complete object. What's a movie that genuinely made you cry? Big Fish. I haven't seen it in a quite a while, so I'll have to give that one a watch again. Fox and the Hound. When the Hound can't be the fox's friend anymore. Oh yeah, that one's like a knife in the heart. Bridge to Terabithia. The guilt of that kid for the rest of his life. The scene in Shawshank Redemption where the elderly man laments how quickly time passes. Brooks was here. So was Red. Original Land Before Time. When Littlefoot's mother dies and gives her final words of wisdom to him destroys me every time. Let your heart guide you. It whispers, so listen closely. Field of Dreams. When he's playing catch with his dad. Also, the end of the Truman Show hit pretty hard. The Green Mile. I cried so hard watching that movie that I can't bring myself to rewatch it. Once was enough. It's dumb, but the first movie I ever cried for was Click with Adam Sandler. That scene where his father dies and he wasn't there because the use of autopilot so decided to revisit the last time he had seen him. His dad tells him he loves him and the autopilot version of him doesn't give a crap. But the real him starts to cry and play the words I love you son on repeat. This has me every time. I ugly cried in the theater and was so upset that a fucking Adam Sandler movie made me cry in public. What the f That's not dumb. I've I cried at click too, especially when he's dying. Like, oh my god. Forever and ever, babe. <laughs> What's a benefit of being single? It's my day off. I have a bunch of projects to do around the house, but I'm laying on the couch reading Reddit. No one cares. Christmas is chill AF. None of that okay, so we spend the eve at your parents' place, then Christmas Day is split between my mom's and my dad's slash his new girlfriend's place, and then we visit your brother's family to say hi to the newborn, plus Uncle Jeremy invited us to his place since we are all there anyway. <laughs> Everything is exactly where I left it. Don't have to answer to anyone about where you're going. You can take a complete cake home and eat all of it. That's more of a thing you do when you become an adult, but alright. Sole ownership of decor choices. Let me guess, empty liquor bottles on top of the cabinets. Don't lie to me, I know they're up there. You can sit alone with your fish. What is currently at its peak right now? Fresh blueberries. I'm guessing because it's blueberry season? And, uh, I don't know. Not me, hopefully. Why would you hope that you're not peaking? Music streaming. Something tells me we won't have this luxury of paying a small price for unlimited music forever. Reaction channels on YouTube. Uh, well, this is technically a reaction channel. Oh no! 80s nostalgia. With the influx of Stranger Things fans? Yeah. Amazon. One day it will crash and burn. Or become its own country. You mean planet. Bezos isn't going to space for nothing. Planet Amazon. Wouldn't surprise me. Outrage culture. How dare you? I can't believe you said that. What's the most illegal thing you could do with one USD? Photocopy it and try to use the copy as legal tender, perhaps? Offer someone a dollar to kill a politician. Well, they probably wouldn't take the dollar. They would want a million more of those. Put 100 pennies in a sock and beat someone to death with it. Uh, yeah, that's an option. Give it to my five-year-old to put in a slot machine. Wait, five year Why? Not pay taxes on it. What did you do that made you say immediately afterwards, why the f*** did I just do that? Uh, that's generally my reaction after I make some jokes on these answers. Put a strainer in the sink to separate soup broth from soup contents. Forgot to put a bowl under the strainer. Sadness. I said, love you, to my gynecologist this morning as I was leaving. <sighs> FML. Watching TV, eating ice cream on autopilot, blew on the spoon before putting it in my mouth as if it was hot. Didn't realize what I had done until I saw my significant other's face. Once upon a time, my dog body slammed a window. The whole thing spiderweb. The dog ran away as I sat there watching dumbfounded. Then one piece fell out, then another, like something out of a cartoon. Then the whole thing started to collapse. For whatever reason, my instinct was hold it in place. So I reach out 
and try to catch the broken window. A shard the size of a dinner plate cut my thumb to the bone, blood gushing out. Just awful. The whole time I was doing first aid, I can't stop asking, why did I do that? Still have the scar. I was in class once, it was a math class, and the teacher was out of the classroom. Since the teacher was out, a lot of the kids in the class were being really annoying. So I ended up getting so pissed off that I shouted at all of them that I was going to steal their lovers if they didn't shut up without thinking about it. I have no regrets, but I still question what the hell I was thinking when I said that, because I honestly have no clue. Waiter, enjoy the meal. Me, thanks, you too. Did they eat with you afterwards? Rejected a pretty girl, which asked for my number because I was overwhelmed with the situation and panicked. <laughs> Hugged my art professor. I thought he was holding out his arm for a hug. He was stretching. Luckily, he found it funny. What's one song that y'all vibing to now? Demanding Excellence by Labyrinth. Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash. Classic. Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. Zach write this? Dog Days Are Over by Florence and the Machines. It's an oldie, but a goodie. That's a very good song. It's in my playlist. Oh, that one. It goes like dee 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 doo doo doo. <laughs> then there's a singing part. You know the one. Carry On My Wayward Son by Kansas. What two different movies or fictional pieces do you like to believe are in the same universe? Malcolm in the Middle and Breaking Bad. Star Wars and Star Trek. It's just that one of them was a long, long time ago. No Country for Old Men and Raising Arizona. Night of the Museum and Jurassic Park. It's just that my brain said dinosaurs moving in any way equals same universe. Care Bears and Harry Potter. Why? Why? <laughs> Moana and Finding Dory slash Nemo. Why did you put Dory first? Unbelievable. The turtle Moana helped swim around their back reminded me of one of the Char's characters. And turtles are able to live a hundreds of years. Don't think it's a coincidence. Polar Express and Back to the Future? Interesting. What is your favorite English word? M moist. I love moist. It's a great word. The only people who are freaked out by the word moist are overdramatic white people. Gazump. Mummy. Tranquility. It's a fun word to say. Oh, yeah. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Anti Facetious. It has all the vowels in alphabetical order. Edit. Nationality. American. What's the most common internet insult? I don't know. Probably like Discord mod or, or simp or a uh, slur. Noob. That's a good one. Something something your mother. Your mom. Cringe. No you. Who asked? <laughs> These nuts? These nuts. These nuts. What is it you hate to do, but you must do it? Cleaning. I hate cleaning the house, but it must be done. Get out of bed. And then all the stuff after that. Watching cringe videos. Peeling potatoes. For some reason, I get dizzy when doing it. Interesting. Tickets messy. Gross. Smells bad. If there was a button that would make me never have to fart or again with no side effects, I'd press it immediately. What's a sign that you'll have a bad day? That I wake up in the morning? Sleeping through the alarm clock and not having enough time to shower. A negative attitude. Yes, I'm gonna be that person. Someone has to. All traffic lights are red when driving to work. A single minor inconvenience at any point. Plans in the evening you're not looking forward to. It'll hang over you all day. What would you regularly do differently if it were absolutely shameless? Just live nude in a tropical area homeless. I'd get arrested for public indecency, but I wouldn't have any clothes to wear, so what the f*** are they gonna do? I'd immediately take any prison costume off also. Everything's a costume to you, isn't it? I would wear a trench coat. Walk around in a diaper for grown-ups. I'd probably be more rude people who stare at me. What would you say? Stop staring at me. Stare back. Maintain gaze. Narrow eyes a little and say, cough. Not much. Threaten the security guards to take off my straight jacket because everyone needs some amount of shame. How you typing in a straight jacket? Talk to text. What is a word that perfectly describes your country? America. Delusional. Obese. America. Crowded. India. Malakas. Malakas. I don't know. Autobahn. Germany. Foul mouth. Everyone thinks they're cool for using swear words. Keep saying. What do you plan on doing before we all die? Very soon. Yo, what the f***? What info you got? Eh, depends on what you're doing tonight. Winky face. We all dying soon? Lol. Jump into a volcano. What is the reason you wouldn't date an opposite gender version of yourself? Because I'm gay. I'm an asshole. We would both find it weird. We can't both be right all the time. I can't think of any. Because it would still be me. I have problems with me. Who's the best Disney princess? Shrek. Shut up. Shrek's not funny. It's 2022. Get over it. Shrek is not funny anymore. It was barely funny to begin with. Aquaman. Also not even, not even Disney. Shrek's not even Disney either. I just realized. Has to be Mulan. That's based. Merida. Not really. Cusco. Yes. What was the most offending or hurtful comment you've ever gotten in your entire life? My crush when I was 10. You're really funny. Too bad you're ugly. Oof. Stop doing that. You're so embarrassing to be around. My sister. Like, what the bro? I was just being myself. All I was doing was tapping on a table and saying ASMR. It didn't even make noise because my nails were cut short. She's just an adult. Bruh. My brother said I should have been aborted. You must be adopted because I could never have given birth to such an awful monster. My mom. Holy f No one wants you here. My best friend in primary school. What was normal in the 1990s but rare or non-existent right now? Coin arcades and malls. And the malls, I guess. I kind of miss arcades. Being completely unreachable by anyone for an entire day or more with no one thinking that it was unusual or rude. Damn, I would have loved the 90s. I haven't been 
bored since 2003. So much distraction now. My dad used to just lock us outside and we couldn't come home until it got dark. The 90s really were a special time. Dial up internet. I had net zero when it was actually free. Waiting for the bus without doing anything else than waiting. Reading the back of the shampoo bottle while being to pass the time. I've read tampon instructions numerous times many years ago. I'm male. MTV playing music videos. Landline phones. What is something all of Reddit can agree on? That the Reddit video player is utter garbage. Anyone know why it's so sh- Wouldn't be at all surprised if it was powered by real player. Ugh, the least real of all the players. Water is essential for the human body. Lol. Nobody. Do your own research. 100% of people who consume water will eventually die. Yep, dihydrogen monoxide is lethal. Yeah, it's the most powerful solvent known. Whole mountains and Redditors need to get off Reddit. Does every Redditor Reddit for hours daily, or is it just me? I once got bored of Reddit on my PC, so I opened my mobile to look at Reddit. Nothing. We don't agree. That's our whole thing. If we agreed, who would we be? We'd be boring. I agree. I disagree. I agree to disagree. Amy Schumer is not funny. That's true. I don't know a single person ever who thinks Amy Schumer is funny. She's not. She's just not funny. Two plus two equals four. No, it's 22. No, no, no. It's two squared. Terms and conditions. What do you still do that you did as a child? Stress my mom out or get stressed out by my mom? Cut my sandwiches into four triangles. Makes one side of the crust instead of two or three. I still squish my sandwiches down before eating them. And nothing wrong with that. Refuse to dangle my foot over the bed at night, just in case the monsters under the bed get me. I don't really know. I think I collect rocks. I love rocks. I like those shapes, the holes, everything. I absolutely adore rocks. I think your spirit animal is an otter. Is that good or what? What interesting statistics do you know? I know that 100% of people who follow Ask MK on TikTok are happier with their TikTok experience. And that's a real stat. That's a real statistic. Residents of large cities, on average, spend six months of their lives waiting for the green light of a traffic light. 30,000 hours of videos are uploaded each hour. 90% of the people reading these statistics won't check to see if they're true. McDonald's sells 75 burgers per second. While you're reading the lines above, about 12,000 lightning bolts flashed in the world because about 200 sparkle every second. Why would or wouldn't you want to be famous? I don't like the attention when my family sings happy birthday to me. Being famous would be a nightmare. I want to be a voice actor, mainly for dub anime, but I'm terrified of being famous. People treat famous people like as if they aren't human too. I'm sensitive as hell. You ever catch an episode of TMZ? I saw one once at a friend's house and that dude is straight up legalized, stalking, and was immensely creeped out. I'm already famous. People just don't know it because I'm the guy who invented the sound shh with the finger over your mouth. Yep, that's right. Before me, it was just shut the f you or grog. But I came up the shh and shh. The modern shh and other variants of that are not mine. But I think I had a heavy influence on the process of inventing those types of the OG shh. Creepy ass paparazzi taking pics of your family. Australian radio hosts phoning your hospital to get details about your pregnant wife and newborn child. People trying to form relationships with you to launch their rap career. Everyone scrubbing your internet history to find some way to cancel you. Losing a large portion of your childhood. No time to yourself. Everything being played up for TV, like the Truman Show. Ruining your mental and physical health. What is something you want to do? But if you did it, it would result in death. Jump into a black hole. You wouldn't die. You'd be be able to communicate with your daughter from the past. Murph! Mmm, dirt. Grab lava. Like it looks so satisfying to just watch. Own a tiger as a pet. I hear lead paint chips are delicious. Anyone else ever try one? So there's an electrical line that goes from the power line to my roof. It's about eight or nine feet up, and I could easily jump and touch it. I know that you don't get electrocuted unless you complete a circuit, so my theory is that if I am not touching the ground, then I should be fine. Birds have been doing this for ages now. It's how they charge, actually. What's the dumbest question you've been asked? Is July 4th on the 3rd? What? Really? Yep. What color is an embarrassed chameleon. Transparent. Red. This doesn't sound like a dumb question. Hey, Robert. What's your name? Bruh. Bruh. Really? Why do girls look so normal in trousers, but guys in skirts don't? Scotland kilt couldn't agree less. On a map, is the blue part the water or the sky? Both. What song from the 90s is a forgotten gem? Crush by Jennifer Page. Never heard of it. Most of you don't know what forgotten means. A song like How Bizarre, my OMC, which was trending on TikTok, featured in a Discovery credit card ad and has over 130 million plays on Spotify, is not a forgotten gem. Jim. <laughs> How bizarre by OMC. Okay. That song is constantly on the radio in my area. I can't escape it. How bizarre. Heard that in a credit card ad recently. No diggity. Black Street and Dr. Dre. Aqua. Barbie Girl. That is not a forgotten gem. Literally, it's a meme song. RHCP Breaking the Girl. If you could bring any fictional character to life, who would it be and why? Ditto from Pokemon or Mystique from X-Men or Loki for obvious reasons. Why do you want to fuck him? Why do you want to fuck a ditto, my guy? What's wrong with you? Elton John from... <laughs> Rocket Man. I love the music from the movie and I wish he was real. Elton John is a real person. That's the spirit. He's real to me too. Freddy Krueger? 
Fur. What the hell? Why would you do that? Jesus. So he could help me build a garage. Phineas and Ferb. Two brothers with an IQ higher than Einstein. The Joker. The Joker. Gotta keep the world interesting. Honestly. Why so serious, Earth? What costs more than it's worth? Cinema popcorn. Every app product. Tiger peeps. Okay. Being alive. And dying. Pennies. I remember hearing something about how they cost more to produce than they're worth. What goes worse with milk? Time. Not a fan of cheese? Milk and onions are not good friends. Lactose intolerance. A supermassive black hole filled with nothing but nukes. I'm pretty sure this isn't how black holes work. What are the things that drive you crazy? People using their speakerphone or playing music in public for all to hear. Whether they want to or not. For real. Like headphones were made for a reason. Living humans. Dead ones too. Everyone drives me nuts. People not being aware in a grocery store that they are in other people's way. For real though. People saying calm down or it's not that deep when you're being perfectly calm, sensible, and rational. Work meetings. All this effort to plan one. Show up and talk about things that literally could have been in an email. I don't care that you brought in muffins. I don't eat those anyway. What are the reasons dating you is hard? Uh, I am too cool and therefore anyone who dates me automatically is not as cool as me. That's why I'm single. Four years. I'm a very close off person and I have trouble connecting with people. I'm in this comment and I don't like it. I'm mentally unhinged. I'm too scared to do anything. Would be hard to make me talk even. I get petrified when I look at women. I overshare too much. Plus I have the tendency to forget someone exists when they're not right in front of me, leading to accidental ghosting on my part. What was cool as a teenager but lame as an adult? Acting like you don't care but thinking everyone really cares about what you do or think. Being an adult. Staying up until three in the morning. Not smiling in pictures. Not dancing at parties. Belly rings. Your driver learning permit. What's a deal breaker on a first date? Ask Asking what my annual income is. That's crazy, man. But what is it? Poverty level, 15k a year. Let's get married and be poor together. Follow me six hours into the woods, alone on foot. Are you dead? Yes. I'm dead. And using my last cell phone service from the beyond. I'm going to harass my brother-in-law after this. Coming with their parents. Yes, that did happen to me. Oh my god. That's amazing, but not in a good way. How did you deal with that? Was he 12? No. 26. They won't tell me where they were on January 6th. That's an important one. Where were you guys on January 6th? What's a job that's romanticized, but in reality, it sucks. From what I've understood, being a cowboy was, or is, really awful. Well, this thread is insanely depressing. Are there any good fields to go into? Working on a film. If you're a crew, it sucks. Long, long hours for what seems like very, very slow progress on the picture. Lots of standing around and waiting. You arrive well before everyone else and leave after everyone else. If this is an indie production, you also may have to beg or chase down for your pay at the end of each week. Oh, and when the film wraps, you're now unemployed. Everyone used to think it was awesome that I worked in live sports TV. 70% of the people I worked with were miserable pricks with overinflated egos. And then there were the athletes. So all of the jobs then. Oh, you hate your job? There's a support group for that, you know. It's called Everyone. We meet at the bar. Teacher. Fantasy. I'm gonna change the world one student at a time. Reality. Poor paying zoo. What is the biggest lie sold to your generation? Gen X are here. We were told that the boomers would eventually retire. Still waiting for that to happen. While well, rapidly approaching retirement age myself. You will always have to write in cursive. I just said f*** it and only write in cursive out of spite towards our education system. You won't always have a calculator on you. Lying. Fat is bad. Sugar is good. You can be anything you want. Not everyone can become a millionaire astronaut and rock star and professional gamer and parent. There's a reason why some of us have the most boring jobs anyone can think of. What's your most boomer characteristic about yourself? Turning off the lights and any appliances the moment I leave a room because I keep thinking it's going to cost me on my energy bill. I've come to enjoy peering out lines, muttering to myself as I scan the neighborhood for any scallywags. I really want a big covered porch that I can sit on. Remembering and comparing grocery prices. I'm 30 and I have no f***ing idea who most famous people are. I have a favorite stove burner. Everyone has a favorite stove burner. Mine's the bottom right, or the front right, I guess. It has a fast boiling option. My love for anything soup. How is soup a boomer characteristic? For some reason, boomers as a demographic f***ing love soup. I bet there are stats out there that boomers eat like 10 times more soup than millennials and Gen Z in any given year. I don't know what it is, but at least anecdotally, I'm convinced soup and boomers are connected. Soup is good. I love soup. I don't trust cloud storage. What improvements have actually made the life worse? Advanced appliances that need to be replaced 10 years or less. Plastic was supposed to be perfect. Now we can't get rid of it. It's in our blood. Evolution. I could have been sitting in a tree eating nuts, but no. But without evolution, how would you have gone from random bits of RNA to sitting in a tree, which similarly evolved, eating nuts? Ditto. I could have been random bits of RNA, but no, I have to go to work. Phones that have made me depressed and addicted to them, and I wish they didn't exist. Sent from my iPhone. The Industrial Revolution. Now we're pissing in jugs in the Amazon warehouse. What community seems toxic from the outside, but is actually really welcoming. R slash fountain pens. People think we're snooty. We will celebrate everything, including a $1 shark pen, an accidentally spilt bottle of ink, or laughing at fountain pens not automatically improving our handwriting. One of my favorite mundane experiences in life is finding a good pen. One of my most tragic horrifying experiences in life was losing my best pen. Derek, if you read this, f*** you for taking
taking my pen at work. Metalheads, guess what? That guy wearing the Cannibal Corpse t-shirt showing two zombies slaughtering a woman and ripping her unborn son out of her womb? In a room full of dead babies hanging from the ceiling is actually a laid back kind of guy, probably shy without a single violent bone in his body. Yeah, metalheads may seem crazy and weird and violent on account of the violent imagery of their t-shirts, but studies have shown most fans of heavy metal music are actually pretty mellow and nice. Adopt a metalhead. Dungeons and Dragons. Despite the stereotypes, we are not all antisocial dorks. Most of us are pretty normal. We love being able to introduce more people to the hobby. Honestly, in terms of joining stuff like that, I am less worried about people hurling insults at me inside the community than having my friends hurl insults at me if I do stuff like that. I work at a gym part-time, but I've never been a big gym goer myself till recently. Everyone always thinks that they're really hardcore people there will judge anyone who's not as strong as them or doesn't do everything right. In reality, there's some of the more inclusive and helpful people you'll find there. They'll happily give you tips on what you should do, your form, etc. They generally think it's a good idea that more people get into training. Punks, metalheads, goths, whatever you call them. Some of the best, kindest, most thoughtful folk I know. Several of my gay friends got into that scene back in the 80s. Back then, it wasn't as common to be out in society in general. They said the punk, new wave, goth scene was much more open and welcoming. Hellfire Club. I don't know. I heard they were a satanic cult. What was ruined because too many people started doing it? Any kind of meme that gets popular. I remember 2000 era memes would stay relevant for years because it was still an internet niche. Now they have like a month long lifespan because everyone starts spamming it. Your parents start using it. Marketing guys catch on and use it in ads, etc. Thrifting. Honestly, it pisses me off how expensive thrifting is now. $10 for shirts? I went to a store in the mall and it was $5 shirts on clearance. I was like, what? Hidden beaches. Now there's too much trash around the ones that get too much exposure. Humans ruin a lot of things they touch. Any restaurant trend. And the first coffee shop chalkboard menu. Wood paneling and funky seating is nice. The seventh one is boring. LOL. This aesthetic is everywhere. Plants everywhere too. Damn plants everywhere. Self-loathing used to be fun before everyone adopted it as their religion. Fine, I'll just be accepting of my journey so far and try to continue to grow as a person. You dicks. What gets more difficult the older you get? Finding friends. Wait, really? I'm not that old with no friends. Dealing with people. The older I get, I'm 54, the more I identify with Red from that 70s show or Clint Eastwood sitting there with a shotgun saying, get off my lawn. The older I get, the more I hate dealing with people. Second, I don't mind getting older. This aging <laughs> sucks. Making excuses for relatives being <laughs> Flexibility. Struggles to put shoes on. Grunts on the way down and on the way back up. Staying alive. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm an old man. Get off my lawn. Trusting a fart or walking. Walking farts are real. Real dangerous. I've thrown away a few pairs of boxers. Never trust an old fart. New music. I will literally hear artists and songs nowadays that I'm like, hey, that's kind of cool. But then never listen to anything else but the same music I have for the last 20 years. What was your 15 seconds of fame? Uh, I, I had a TikTok blow up one time that got 1.5 million views. Played Among Us with uh, Captain Sparkles and, and Carl Jacobs. I'm on Google Earth riding my bike home from school. I'd be bragging about that constantly. It'd be in every social media bio. Truly my proudest moment and biggest contribution to society. I got five no's on America's Got Talent, a show known famously for only having four judges. I accidentally walked into a setup movie shot, stopped, heard action, walked right through the whole action scene, went around the corner and asked a grip what that was all about. Ten years later, I saw the movie in Blockbuster. Watched it. Yep, there I am. I was in the background in the local news in Duluth, falling down and eating absolute <laughs> last year. Hi, internet here. We love a link. Hi, you can find him in Princess of Zelda. I met Cardi B and we took a photo. I read this as took potato and was like, fair enough, I would too. What's something small that can completely destroy your ego? People younger than me achieving more than me, no matter how small it is. It works all the time. My peeps. <laughs> <laughs> People disapproving of me on Reddit. Even if it's a single person and nobody else acknowledges me. I acknowledge you. Getting not so subtly insulted by little kids. They just say whatever the hell they want, don't they? Little shits. Why do you have buttons on your face? Because I love putting them on, obviously, Timmy. Having a bad day and then dying in a video game. I feel you, bro. People who had little fancy mustaches tattooed on the side of their fingers. How are you doing now? Not that well, TBH. My daughter knows someone who has one of them tattooed on the wrong side of their finger. So they have to awkwardly turn their wrist around, be backward to flash their little handlebar stash. Hopefully most folks are doing better than that genius. Kinda peaked shortly after the tattoo, not gonna lie, but can still kinda ride the wave when people notice it. Fine. Haha, <laughs> this is very 2010s, OMG, ha 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 ha. Not sure who is downvoting this. It's definitely 2010s and should have stayed there. What is inside a black hole? A whole lot of black. Ha 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 ha. Sorry. <clears throat> the singularity at the center of a black hole is the ultimate no man's land. A place where, place where matter is compressed down to an infinitely tiny point, and all conceptions of time and space completely break down, and it doesn't really exist. Black. Hole. Everything and nothing at all at the same time. Time. Bookshelves. <laughs> a big ball of rubber bands. GTA 6. What scientifically proven thing scares the living <laughs> out of you? This Wikipedia page. Wikipedia.org slash wiki slash timeline of the far future. The scale of the universe. Though it's not scary in the sense I'm frightened by it, but I'm scared into submitting to its insane level of bigness. Scared to silent awe where my mind crumbles at trying to fathom it in any relatable way and coming up empty. Wormholes. Is that scientifically proven? We have not found one yet.
one yet. However, if they do not exist, many fundamental facts would be unproven. Locked in syndrome. It scares the fuck out of me. There are serial killers walking around and it could be someone you see every day. Very scary. I read somewhere that the average person has walked past something like 30 murderers in their life. If you could have any minor superpower, like automatically cleaning your house, changing the color of your shirt at will, etc., what power would you pick? Power to clean my house would be really nice. I wish I had power to be infinitely funny. Automatically cleaning the house would be sweet. Being able to instantly clean my whole body at will. So like shower, brush teeth, floss, etc., but like instantly so you don't have to do anything. If it includes pooping, I'm in. Being able to fast forward in time at will. Like when I have to wait in line at the supermarket checkout or at the dentist office or when having to watch ads before a YouTube video. Isn't that the pitch for an Adam Sandler movie? Yeah, the worst Adam Sandler movie of all time. Teleport the contents of my bowels and bladder in my enemy's AC system. That's just vile. The power to cook anything instantly. What things piss you off more than they should? Loud chewers. Folks blocking my driveway. I will fucking burn your house down if you block my driveway. I mean, I will politely ask the infringing party to kindly relocate their vehicle. Hides gas can. Barky, jumpy, hyperactive dogs. Far away from me. Thanks. Hey, leave my dog alone. He's just vibing. Wet socks. I don't ever see, like, I don't ever want to see wet socks in anything ever. I hate them so much. Just people breathing in general. Like, just stop what you're doing. Kneecaps. I don't know why. Kneecaps. Hey, I've got kneecaps, bucko. Fuck your kneecaps. Internet acronyms. Things like LOL and over and NVM. Dude, just speak normally, please. Who has the most punchable face on the planet? Chris Pratt does. Absolutely. I would do it in a heartbeat. Josh Duggar. He's the scum of the earth. I second this. I third this. I fourth this. Putin. My mom instantly said, Mark Zuckerberg. That's because his face looks like it was made of with parts sourced from several other faces. Will Smith. He always looks so smug. Chris Rock. Slapped. Damn. What's a where are they now segment you'd watch? Cast of Supernatural. Rob Schneider. That one Austrian artist. I wonder where he is now. Serial killer victims. Where are they now? Eh, still dead. 17 year old cashier here. What is the right way to deal with a Karen? You get the manager because she's about to request him or her anyway. You don't. Let them make an ass of themselves. In Scotland, we tell them to get the f ya shriveled ol' up hag. Seems to do the trick. Murder. Don't murder people. With fire? There is no problem that enough fire won't fix. Okay. Maybe we all have superpowers that are just mundane. What's yours? I can keep my drink chilled at all times. Being confidently incorrect about everything all the time. I can intentionally make my legs go numb by barely flexing my muscles. I can find the slowest moving car in any lane of traffic. My superpower is staying up late then wondering why I'm always tired. What's your best? She or he's a 10, but experience. She's a 10, but IQ. He's a 10, but he's a philosophy major. She's a 10, but she preferred a 70 to 30 milk to cereal ratio. That's not cereal. That's soup, damn it. It should be 70 to 30 cereal to soup. Cereal to milk. She works for EA. She's a 10, but she wipes back to front. What is normal at 3 p.m., but terrifying at 3 a.m.? Car pulling into your driveway. A kid's toy going off in a random room. My kids used to have a book that, when open, played nursery rhymes. It turns out that when the battery is running low, book does two things. It plays the tune even while closed. It plays the tune really slow and in a lower pitch. You can see where this is going, right? Middle of the night, me and my husband are woken by twinkle, twinkle, little star being croaked at us from under our toddler's bed. The sound of an ice cream van. No, thank you. A phone call from parents or relatives. A child laughing. There's nothing more precious than a child's laughter unless it's 3 in the morning and you don't have kids. House sounds. During the day, if the house creaks or whatever, who cares? If it's night, holy f demon in the darkness. Pile of clothes in my room. Looking in your bathroom mirror. You're home alone and suddenly hear footsteps. What do you do? Probably the ghost again. The dogs let me know if it's actually people. Goddamn ghosts disturbing my peaceful quiet evenings. Make louder footsteps and see what they do. I picture them copying you and it turns into a full dance-off session. Home Invasion, the musical. I live in an apartment. I'd get more scared if I suddenly stopped hearing footsteps. Ask them if they've seen the remote. Nothing. It's just the ghost. What's the ghost name? Daryl. Daryl, what is the most idiotic thing you have ever heard? I met a girl who tried to warn me about drinking water that had been boiled because she said you boiled away the hydration and you'd still die of thirst if you drank just that. A couple arguing over why salt and sugar are the same color. After a while, they agreed that they both taste different but look the same due to the way it's processed and left cafe contented. Wait, sundials actually existed? I thought that before clocks, people just told time using a freckle past a hair. On a flight, my sister called for a window opening out of panic since she was feeling really hot. Passenger opposite from her lost it and it made his day. I saw a sausage party a few years ago when it was in theaters with a group of friends and one of them comments completely serious after the movie with, if you take out the swearing, it would be okay for kids to watch it. Which unconventionally attractive celebrity do you have a crush on? Me is the correct answer here. I am the, I am a nano celebrity, you know, narrating stuff for a YouTube channel. I'm watching more of Jesse Plemons stuff outside of 
Breaking Bad, and I find him so attractive, TBH. Rami Malek. Funny looking dude, but damn, he's fine. Why the f*** is Danny DeVito not on the top? Probably because he's an old, small man. Jonah Hill. Chubby guys are cute, and he looks good after losing weight, too. Also, he directed mid-90s, which is brilliant. So I'm a little bit in love with his mind, too. Jermaine Clement. I would climb that Mari like a tree. What's happening regularly today that would horrify a person 100 years ago? Literally any of the clothing being worn. Tinder and hookup culture. Passenger flights at 33,000 feet. The knees and shoulders being out and about. So inappropriate and so suggestive. iPad kids. Those weird, probably AI-generated YouTube videos target towards kids. Those horrify me. What's your favorite movie? Describe it in the worst way possible. Fat man leaves a monastery to wear a mask and tight pants to wrestle people with a skinny homeless friend. Nacho Libre. One-handed time-traveling department store clerk has to kill a demon and find an old book. An archaeologist wants to find a chest full of sand before some far-right Germans do it for him. That's, uh, Indiana Jones and... Indiana Jones? Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark, right? Austrian dude looks for someone. I got no idea. A ghost of a dead guy talks to a kid who can see dead people and, uh, oh, uh, forget that first part. Sixth Sense? Two teenagers meet on a ship and fall in love in a couple of days that they both are ready to die for each other. Titanic? Some plastic bricks try not to get stuck together. They both succeed and fail. What? What is the best Disney movie? Emperor's New Groove? Lion King 1994. Uh, Toy Story. That's not true. To the first Toy Story is not good. <laughs> it's really not. It actually is not a very good movie. Toy Story 3 was good. Toy Story 2 was alright too. Hunchback in Notre Dame. That's a good one. Cool Runnings. Never heard of it. What subject are you always ready to argue about and why? Pizza doesn't belong in pineapple. I'm fine with pineapple on the pizza. Pizza doesn't belong in the pineapple. How do you even bake that? Is this hell? My eyes have been opened. Daylight savings time is horrible, but permanent daylight time might be even worse. The answer is standard time, and anyone who disagrees is simply wrong. I don't care which one we settle on, I just want to pick one and stick with it. Sugar is as dangerous and unhealthy as alcohol or tobacco. I'm not going to eat too many M&Ms and wrap my car around a telephone pole. Maths. For the love of all things, one-fourth is not larger than one-half. It depends. No. Yes, finally someone gets it. Haha. <laughs> Pens. One-fourth of a pizza is larger than one-half of a pea. You always gotta be the guy to argue. God, shut up, dude. The existence of ghosts. They don't exist, and anyone telling you that they do is either mistaken, trying to scare or influence you, or is trying to scam you. What song is currently stuck in your head? Oh my god. Uh, oh. God, what song is stuck in my head? My Ordinary Life by the Living Tomb Zone is always stuck in my head. Gognum Style, Harlem Shake, Kiki, Do You Love Me? Is it too late now to say sorry? If there is a music playlist for people who don't like music. Summertime Sadness. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his back and white cat. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. Candyman, Christina Aguilera. What's something that's not a cult, but seems like a cult? Fans of BTS. Any MLM. Any man-loving ma multi-level marketing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh my god. I would argue that a lot of MLMs are a cult. CrossFit. First rule of CrossFit is to tell everyone in the world that you do CrossFit. People who buy only app products or devices. Listen, I love the iPhone. I love iPhones, but I will never buy, like, a MacBook, iMac, or whatever they're called. Never. Vegans. Groups of friends in high school. Hey, that's the end of this post. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.